So it's a gym where everybody should feel welcome, but if you're too big, you're not welcome. Shame on you. How dare you step foot in our doors, you big man. You despicable, ugly, grotesque big man. Get out of my sight. Hey, hottie. Looking hot. Me hot. You're hot. Your bod is so hot. Your bod is so hot. So hot. So hot. <laughs> and that's why I don't like gyms. Well, we're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. Listen, if you're intimidated by attractive people, fear not. Because hot people are not welcome at Planet Fitness. Where, of course, all are welcome. <laughs> Yo, where is this gym though? <laughs> this place actually seems awesome. Notice how judgmental the people in all of these commercials are being. Every single one of them is sitting there disgusted. Like their eyes are gonna roll out of the back of their head at just the sight of somebody with a good body. And that's why I don't like gyms. Well, Megan, we're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. Just $10 a month. We're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. Okay, right on. I hear you. I hear you. But this isn't a gym either. Like, what the hell is this? Uh, let's be real. It's such a dishonest way to market your gym. Like, imagine if there was a candy store. I'm about to do a weird comparison, but bear with me. Imagine if there was a commercial for a candy store and they were like, you know how every other candy store has Oompa Loompas running about, kicking people in the balls? You should come to our candy store instead because you don't gotta worry about those mischievous little Oompa Loompas. I would love to see that candy store, but it doesn't exist and neither does a gym like this. They sit there and they claim that they're this inclusive, safe space for everybody to work out. But then they turn around and they shame people who take working out too seriously or that they don't look the way that they want them to. Excuse? All right, so what is going on here? Well, this is in reference to the gym, Planet Fitness, which is a chain gym that's become quite successful in the last 30 years. They've been around since 1992. And um, I just gotta say that these are actually legitimate ads that were shown here in, on this channel about Planet Fitness. And, and might I say that, do women actually stand around locker rooms talking to each other like this? Is this, is this something that that happens ladies if there's any ladies watching the video please please let me know down in the comments if, if this is the sort of situation that you experience in the locker room you're so hot hey hottie looking hot me hot you're hot your bod is so hot your bod is so hot so hot you guys want to grab something hot from somewhere totally hot that sounds so hot so hot <laughs> And also, they go right to the lunk alarm after they show these young women talking about their bodies and how hot they are. Which is, um, they're not lunks, right? The definition of a lunk is, is uh, something different. Now, here's another weird ad from Planet Fitness. Fitness. Please, state your name. It's Agnes. All right, Magnus. I'll start at your previous level. No, no, it's Agnes. Level 985. Stop! Cancel! Canceling is for quitters, Magnus. So again, how is this a lunk? Where's the lunk in this situation here? The Nessus workout equipment is like this. I've gone to gyms on all over the country. I've gone to gyms for decades now. The gyms are not like this. That they, they have kill switches on the treadmills. So you can just, some of them are clip on kill switches too. So you clip a little cord to your shirt. That way, if it's going too fast, you slide off the back. Not the one, the, it's clipped to your shirt, but the cord is clipped to the, to the other, other end where it pulls a, pulls a tag out of the um, machine and it stops the machine. So, yeah, I mean, this is just a weird sort of thing that they're, like, this is not reality. I, they might be clever commercials in, in some aspects, or they might be creative, I should say, in some aspects, but they're not, they're not exactly accurate to how gyms work. I effing hate Planet Fitness with a burning passion. I cannot stand that company. And it's for this exact reason that was pointed out here. I used to be a member, and they are not a judgment-free zone, right? If we look at Planet Fitness here, the lunk alarm. They say a lunk, slang, one who grunts, drops weights, or judges, in parentheses here. Ricky is slamming his weights, wearing a body building tank top, and drinking out of a gallon water jug. What a lunk. Yet they're the judgment-free zone. And I even freaking called them out on this. I sent them an email saying, what the hell is wrong with you people? You're not the judgment-free zone if you're doing this sort of stuff. They sent me an email back saying, yeah, if you're a lunk, guess what? We are judging you. Straight up just agreed with me and didn't even care the hypocrisy, the level of hypocrisy of these people. So before we get started, I do want to thank everybody for stopping by and supporting my channel. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube doesn't subscribe people every single day. You can find me on Rumble YouTube. Well, you're already on YouTube probably if you're watching this. You can find me on Rumble on YouTube, Twitter, and um, BitChute. Now, Planet Fitness has finally stepped in it, really stepped in it. Actually, they did this. Here we go. Um, transgender woman 
did fans using the woman's locker room at Planet Fitness after a fellow gym goer was thrown out for complaining about man in the ladies room. Now this is from, what? This is from 2015. Oh, huh. Planet Fitness stepped in it a long time ago. This is a violation of their judgment-free policy to allow this man right here, this man with front bumps, into the ladies' locker room. Might I say, aside from the front bumps, this person is more masculine than I am. Disgusting. And this is the person who complained. This person right here is um, Yvette Kormeyer, was kicked out of her gym in Midland, Michigan, after complaining about a transgender woman in the female locker room. I was stunned and shocked, Kormeyer told W. Nem about the incident. He looked like a man. He did not look like a woman. Kormeyer maintains she wasn't complaining because the person was transsexual, but because she thought there was a man in the woman's room. This is very unprofessional, she said. This is very scary. Sklodowska said she wore leggings and a baggy t-shirt on both gym trips. She added that she understood why Kormeyer would see her body structure as masculine because many people tell her she looks like a man. But you admit you're a transgender person, so you are a man, technically. Uh, she said she uses women's public restrooms regularly, but no one has said has had any issues previously. And that she's the only transgender woman she knows of in Midland, a city with a population of about 40,000. Friends showed Slodowska the new story about the locker room policy, and that's when she assumed the story was about her. So here's the changing room at Planet Fitness. I've not been in the women's locker room, the men's locker room when I was a member there. It's much larger than this. Changing room. This is a photo from the locker room at Planet Fitness in Midland, Michigan. Gym staff took Slodowska to use the locker room that corresponded with how you are dressed. Please define to me woman's dress versus man's dress. Because in the United States, the only difference is like men don't wear skirts. That's it. Everything else is the same. You might be like, oh, well, men don't wear tight leggings. Yes, they do. When they're riding bikes and stuff, I've seen it a lot. I've seen it, I see it at the gym. Men wear the tight shorts, tight leggings. The only difference I can, I can come up with is, is skirts. That's it. Kicked out Yvette Kormeyer is no longer allowed to go to Planet, Planet Fitness Midland for violating their no judgment zone policies. No judgment zone. Let's take a look here. As I already mentioned this, when we looked at the lunk alarm. But we can look, look here. Look, no critics. Here you go. Planet Fitness equals no critics. Oh, really? Unless you complain about a man in the woman's room. Uh, what else do we got here? No critics. We're seeing, oh, here we go. Judgment-free zone. We got a judgment-free zone. Mm-hmm. No judgment. And at the gym that I belong to, well, I mean, it was, I belong to all of them because you get one membership in and you're allowed to go to all of them. But welcome to the judgment-free zone. In the main gym that I went to, the one closest to me, it was this no judgment was right next to, right next to the lunk alarm. And they also have um, you belong printed on the walls. This is not even the article that's brought this to a head recently. If you haven't noticed, Libs of TikTok put this ongoing bloodbath at Planet Fitness. Last week, I released a shocking report exposing Planet Fitness who are openly allowing men to enter and even shave in the women's bathroom facilities. Of course, Planet Fitness went ahead and doubled down on their radical trans policy after being exposed. They clearly could not care less for the safety of their female members. Big mistake, Planet Fitness. Yeah. Now, the issue is that um, women are typically smaller and weaker than men. And the Planet Fitness that... I went to here, it was open 24 hours, I believe. And do you think they have a, a like a robust crew on there? No, they'll have like one, maybe two people on staff working at a time. If you wanna to go to a gym and just kind of work out and you don't really know what you're doing, okay, Planet Fitness is serviceable. It's a serviceable gym for people who don't know what they're doing, especially. Uh, it's serviceable, serviceable for people who do know what they're doing. I mean, I would see people doing muscle ups there. If you don't know what a muscle up is, let me show you. I can't even do that, right? I've been, I've been doing pull-ups for many years now, I can do a lot of pull-ups and I can't do a muscle-up. And the um, thing is, you do see all different kinds of people working out there, but they they don't want people working out there who know what they're doing. I did have uh, a lot of fun experiences helping people learn how to use equipment because you get people in there who, again, they, they, they advertise to the, oh, you don't know what you're doing. So I've been going to gyms for years and years now and I'd, I'd go in and be like, hey, um, I see you're struggling with this. Do you mind if I show you what's going on here? And that happened dozens of times when I was there. Uh, I didn't stay a member for very long. Now, I will say one good thing about the gym that actually is legit good is I like the music that they play at this gym. This is a, a divestment from every other gym I've been a member at is they typically play just god awful music. It's just terrible. And Planet Fitness plays good music. So that's more of a matter of taste. So probably than anything. So the issue that brought this all to a head here is uh, Planet Fitness stands by decision to allow men in women's locker rooms and warns members that their discomfort is not a reason to exclude transgender people. It's not about 
their discomfort. Like I mentioned a moment ago, it's about the fact that men tend to be stronger, bigger and stronger than women and can hurt women. And there are children that go into the locker room at Planet Fitness. Now, they might be 17-year-olds or 16-year-olds, even 15-year-olds, but you might, and you might be saying, well, anti-work warrior, I mean, depending on the state you're living in, you know, that those people are considered adults and, you know, better activities. And I'm like, yeah, but that really doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it's easier to take advantage of younger people. They don't have the life experience. Uh, they're so naive, we'll just say. They, they have greater naivete, and they also tend to be weaker. The younger you are, to a point, I mean, you reach your, your maximum strength, later in in your adulthood not not late in adulthood but you know in your adulthood not in your childhood so if you got an adult male in there he's going to be stronger than a teenage girl most likely the the facility said discomfort is not a reason to deny access to the transgender member that came after a trans woman was seen shaving in female locker room patricia silva who shared a picture of the person shaving was banned from the alaska gym so this happened in alaska this is how far reaching this is in this country this is uh, Patricia Silva here. She apparently has run for council member or something. Oh, here you go. Here's a You Belong at Planet Fitness. So this is a Planet Fitness right here. You can see they got, this is just the free weight area. They got all that you need here to work with free weights. And here is the um, the operations manual. It says, this discomfort is not a reason to deny access to transgender member. Yeah, discomfort is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about somebody feeling uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable in the locker rooms. You know, you never know what's going to go down, right? I don't think anybody's going to hurt me, but... I've said it before, I'm not the biggest man in the, in the, in the world by any stretch. I want to see, there's like a video here. We can watch this video. Take a look here. Day two of Planet Fitness Saga. I came in Monday. There's a man in the women's locker room shaving. A little girl sitting in the corner. She could have been 12 years old. I don't know how old she was. In a towel. Kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker room. Well, I was offended. I took a picture of him and I asked him, why are you there? You're a man with a penis. Why are you in the women's locker room? And he justified by saying, I'm queer LGB. And I said, you shouldn't be in the women's locker room. Well, I left. And um, as I said this morning, I got canceled. Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. So people, I just want you to know, this is weird, it's not good, uh, it, it's, it's rather disturbing. So I would like for you women to stand up and have a voice and stop the shenanigans. You have authority, use your authority. I took that picture because I was, I was, I felt like I was in a, I felt like I was in an unsafe space. And so I'm probably gonna go report this to the police today, but I just wanna tell Samantha and Joe that work there and own it, thank you so much for canceling my membership. You saved me the trip. Have a great day, bye-bye. All right, so let's take a look and see if we can find a picture of the man in question, the picture that she took. I don't see it on here. This, this image of the person. So here's a picture, here's a picture of the man that uh was in the woman's locker room this dude is a man it's not there's no there's no question in my mind this is a male individual shaving his face too at the time now uh this uh silva is that her name patricia patricia silva yeah patricia silva she was banned for taking a photo in the locker room which is illegal it's illegal everywhere in the country you're not allowed to take photos or video in a locker room or a bathroom or um a changing room a dressing room in a, in a department store or whatever clothing store. So that's why she got kicked out. But you know, I mean, come on, she took that. We saw the picture here. Where's it at? This is what she took a picture of. She wasn't there trying to catch somebody that she was, you know, trying to catch somebody that's various level of undress or going to the bathroom. This is a privacy issue, right? Is, we, we have a right to privacy in the United States. So that's why you don't have any sort of image capture system inside of locker rooms. And this person is here be, having their image captured because they are violating the morality of just common decent people where men and women should have separate spaces for changing it's just come on let's not be silly about this we we need to have a separation for obvious reasons like i said men are just stronger than women it's just how it is and um women don't also they don't want to be judged by the male gaze you know there's going to be a lot of women in locker rooms who are going to judge each other and they don't need that in, in addition to the women judging each other on their looks, they don't need the men there judging them. And men don't want women judging them either on their bodies because women do that too. So it's all just BS. Now, Planet Fitness, of course, 
wants to support the trans person, wants to support the trans, they want to be hypocritical because that's just how they are. I pointed that out at the beginning. They're super hypocritical. I, I stopped going to them. I only had a membership for like a year, maybe maybe a little bit longer, but it wasn't long. I think I had a month-to-month -month membership too, and I just canceled it. Uh, and the reason I got the membership, if you're, you're like, oh, what the hell? Why would, you, why would you go there in the first place? Well, for whatever reason, there was a lull in gyms around here, around me. And the nearest, I mean, there was one gym that I used to work for that was not too far away. And then there was the, the Y here in, in my city. But that is not a very good Y. It's pretty, pretty crappy. So I um, was like, all right, well, I got to go to the next city over to get a gym. And well, I might as well just spend $10 a month if I'm going to do it. And so I did. Gyms have started to come back here. <laughs> Planet Fitness opened up <laughs> recently here. Along with, there was uh, an expansion. There was a new Anytime Fitness that opened up and... Then there was um, some other gyms that, that came back. And, and so I just, I joined a different gym and you stay at Planet Fitness. And, and I, but I was, I was pissed at them anyway for their, their, the fact that they judge you and they say that they're the no judgment gym. So ridiculous. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Boycott Planet Fitness.